Hello and welcome back to episode 17 of Take to the Skies, St. Albans FC. We're back for the first game in the National League. And of course, we've got a lot of transfers to go over. We've strengthened the team majorly. We've had a lot of people leave, a lot of people join. I'm not going to go through all of them. It would take too long. Let's go and have a look at what we've done though. So, since you're last with us, of course, as I mentioned, we've made a lot of changes to the team. We've brought in Damani Hunter, a striker. We then brought in Austin Samuels, another striker who's going to partner Matt Rush, most likely. We've got Freddie Moriarty, another striker. We then have Jake Flanagan a, in midfield. Tom Pett, another midfielder. And then we've brought in Alistair Stark, he's going to be mainly a backup to Ashley Harper. Cameron Ballantyne, a midfielder. Dan Bowery, a centre-back. Napa has come in permanently from Oxford, as has Mensa from Peterborough. And then we've also got Aid Bowell coming in, as well as Alfie Matthews a winger slash striker, and then Josh Thomas, who we've actually paid for a central midfielder from Gloucester. So, I've realised I have gone through all of them. We've just rushed through them all, rather than talking through you through each one. Outgoing. We've made a bit of money, actually. So, we had Akinola and Watson leave on a free. Then we sold Sunday for 3000 Sam Packham for... £550 and then Michael Johnson for 7.25 thousand actually to Forest Green which was quite surprising and then also Baptiste has left as well if we have a look at release players you've also got all these guys including some who appear to have retired following being released David Noble retired but he has become a coach full-time coach for us I should say he was already a coach and that is Everything that we've done transfer-wise. We're back today. We've got Ebbsfleet in our first game in the National League. The team who, of course, got promoted from the National League South the year prior to ourselves. And then we've got Stockport County as well. Let's go and see how we get on in our first two games in the National League. So the lineup for today, we've got Parks in goal. A back four of Harper, Adbowale, Bowery and Sanders. Napa. Wise, Ballantyne and Coley in midfield. And then we've got Samuels and Matt Rush up front. Of course, first time this season we actually get to assign player numbers as well. Which is a little small thing for, for us. Let's see how we can get on. First time playing at this level for ourselves, of course. We... Probably somewhat grateful that we're playing one of the teams who we've who haven't long come up. But maybe that means we we've got a bit more of a balanced game in this one. Charles with a long ball in behind. Bingham has got on the end of it and puts it in the back of the net. Less than ten minutes in. We find ourselves one 0 down in the National League. That's not an ideal start. And it was a little bit a little bit too easy for them. Let's maybe uh, drop that defensive line a little bit there after that. And let's. Uh, so far, we've not really had anything happen positive for us. We've got a free kick now with Parks. He's going to send it out to Charles, straight to Ebb's fleet. Ball through towards Hayes. He strikes, and it's 2 0. And this is a less than ideal start for us. We haven't had a shot yet. But they are all over us so far. Let's try going more direct to see if that helps us. Maybe we need to take off being disciplined as well. That's probably not uh, being expressive. We probably want to be a bit more conservative this year than we have been previously. But again, 
we're we're approaching half time. We've not had a shot yet, which is far from an ideal situation. It's actually throwing for Ebbsfleet here. It's throwing into Charles back to Bandera, forward to Moore, who crosses in. Bingham's in there and hits the bar. Sanders clears it away. And a first half where we have been very much on the back foot there. We are going to tell them we're disappointed with the playmaking. Is there anything we can do to really change this? Maybe we, we start to shoot on site rather than work the ball into the box. Just so we can... You know, if we're not shooting, we're not scoring. So let's see if we can try and do a bit more... Header away from the corner, but it's back to Hayes who sends it in, and Harper does well at the far post. Egan picks it up. He's trying to find space. Goes back to Wood inside to Bandera. Wilton with the ball over the top finds Bingham, who chips parts, and it's three 0 And we have had a shot, which is nice. But other than that, it's. Not been a fun start to life in the National League for us. Ball thrown into Rush, inside to Ballantyne, who gets a shot away. And it was moving in the air, but goes over the bar. We've now got a throw in for Harper, who finds Samuels. Goes back to Wise. Ball goes in. Moore heads away. Wise collects it. He plays it to Ballantyne, who shoots from range again, and it's just over the bar again. But it's a little bit more positive from us now. Ballantyne heads down to Samuels. Wise collects it. He plays it to Harper. Ball goes over the top through behind for Samuels who shoots wide. He was offside anyway. But let's fire them up. Even if we don't turn this around. If we start to have a bit of fire in us. That's still a massive improvement on what's happened so far. Let's send Matthews down that left wing, uh, down the right wing, I should say, instead of Napper. And let's now send Longello on at left back. Maybe that's something we need to be doing going forward. And we're going to make a final change, sending Flanagan on at full wise in the middle. But with 10 minutes to go. It's looking like a bit of a heavy defeat for the first appearance of St Albans here. Harper sends it back to Parks. And he's got the ball now. Sends it long towards Samuels who heads down to Matthews. He runs into space. He's got Rush with him in the box. Plays it across to Rush who gets a goal. And that is 3-1. Again. It's not a great start, but it's a sign. Maybe we need to adjust the, our play style a little bit in this season. I was hoping maybe we could try and continue what we were doing. It doesn't look like that's going to be the case. But I think that second half was a much better half of football for us. Let's... Tell them we can't fault them. It's not an ideal start, but let's see if we can turn it around against Stockport with a little bit of a change to our system. And we're back for the game against Stockport now. We've got Parks in goal. The back four is now Harper, Adeboel, Bowery and Longello. Matthews on the right, Flanagan and Wise in the middle, Coley on the left, and then Rush and Samuels up front together again. Let's uh, tell them we want a much better performance and let's see if the changes that we've made, we've gone a little bit more cautious, a little bit more counter-attacking to see if that will allow us to have a better performance like it did in the second half of the previous game. We're going a bit more direct rather than the short passing. I think we're probably not good enough to do the short passing at this level. And being in possession all the time. So maybe this will be the solution. Let's see how it goes. Rooney on the ball there. Plays it back to Trotter. Out to Gibson Hammond. 
Trotter with the long ball. Bowery misses his header. And Bennett makes it 1-0 to Stockport very early on. And that's all down to a missed header from Bowery, which was very poor. He wasn't even being challenged for it. And he's just absolutely messed that up. How t- how small is Bowery? I don't remember him being that short. Keown throws it into Trotter. He's trying to find a bit of space. Does manage to get it through. Rooney goes back to him though. And Coley's pressing him. Ball over the top. Longello heads down. Finds Coley. Who goes inside to Wise. He goes to Flanagan. Who goes for a long ball over the top. Rushes in behind. Brings it down brilliantly. And goes for the chip. And it's just over the bar onto the top of the netting. And that was such a good chance for Rush there. Harper throws it into Matthews now. Back to Harper. Ball goes in. Rush is in there again. And it's another chance that he's missed. Another chance there for Rush. Free kick now for Stockport. And Bennett forces Parks into a great save. Ab- Adebowal with a good block off the line. And it's a throw in for Stockport. But two big chances for Rush so far in this game. And unfortunately, he has missed them. Napper, uh, Rooney shoots from range. It's in the top corner. And that is 2-0 now. With 20 minutes gone to Stockport. We're going to demand more now. and um, We're going to have to go positive. We need to try and find a way back into this game. Ball is thrown in to Rooney. It goes inside to Trotter, who looks to the left, right-hand side. Gibson Hammond brings it down in the box, and Williams has made it free now. And we are looking a little bit out of our depth at the moment now. And we're not really sure what to do either. We might try a higher tempo. Let's play for set pieces and see if we can get back back into it by using the corners. Longello throws it into Coley, crosses it in, but it's headed away. Flanagan picks it up. He plays it to Wise. Flanagan finds Samuels, finds Coley. Back to Wise, who shoots from range and puts it in the top corner. It's 3-1. Just before half-time, we're back in with a shout. That's a very important time to get a goal there as well, right on the verge of half-time. There was a little bit of patient build-up there until all of a sudden Wise lets one go and finds the net brilliantly. Harper now throws it into Samuels, back to Matthews. He's able to cut inside, gets a shot off, but it is well wide there. But a bit of positivity ending the half there. Let's tell them it's not been good enough so far. But we've got faith in them to turn this round. Again, Rush has missed two pretty big chances. Bowery with an ambitious ball forward. Adebowell sends it forward again. And Samuels misses out on the header. Williams with a ball in behind. Finds Bennett. Bowery trying to stop him. Harper trying to stop him. Matthews and Wise in the end clear the ball back upfield. Semple sends it forward, finds Rooney. It's back to Bennett again. Rooney plays it to Bidell. Back to Rooney. Plays the ball through to Williams and it's 4-1. And what was the point in scoring that one just before halftime? Because less than a minute into the second half, we made it not matter. I think maybe we need to add this extra man in midfield and have somebody sat in the holding midfield slot. It's We're going to send Kozak on for Bowery, who's really not been able to get into it so far. And also we're going to send Napper on, on the right-hand side. We've got a corner here. Coley sends it in towards the far post and it's headed over the bar. 
But at 4 1, it feels a little bit like we're just scrambling to try and have some sort some source of creativity. Ball in behind finds Williams who cracks the ball against the bar. Parks didn't move. And we're looking very under pressure at the moment. Parks claims the corner. We've actually matched them for shots. Parks goes long. Can't find Rush. Semple heads down to Gibson Hammond, who finds colour. Rooney plays it through for Bennett, and that's 5 1. Let's uh let's berate them at this point. And Valentine can go on for Flanagan because he's looking very annoyed. We don't want him to go and stab someone. Rush plays it back to Longello. Ball through Samuels is there and Barnes tips it onto the bar. A fantastic save to be fair to him. Longello now throws it in. Rush plays it back to Coley. Back to Ballantyne, who's forced back to Kozak. Ball forward, doesn't find Rush. But the clearance comes back. Samuel sends it in. Samuels smashes that into the top corner. And that is 5-2. Well, if we can sort our defence out, we might be onto something here. Because we're scoring goals. We're just also getting a bit torn apart at the back. I almost think... Oh dear. Gibson Hammond smashes it wide. Looked like he was trying to kill someone in the in the crowd, to be honest. What I might try is sacrificing a striker for a holding midfielder. Bowery sitting in there. Maybe his height is going to cause us problems at the back. But that is another loss there. And I've annoyed them all. In a game where we weren't as outclassed as it looked. Yeah, we, we nearly matched them sh for shots. We nearly matched them for possession. May maybe we've got a chance. But we, we need to sort this out very quickly. We can't afford to drop off too much from the rest of the league. Let's go and have a look at where we're coming back. So I think what we'll do is we will come back. For the games against Blyde and Gloucester. Purely because Blyde were the other team that went up with Ebbsfleet in the first season. So there's a bit of a revenge game there. And then Gloucester just because. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Comment what you think we need to do to turn this poor start around. And subscribe if you are enjoying the series. Thank you very much for watching.